<clears throat> okay, there we go. Uh, so, I first of wanted to start with a small glitch tutorial, trick tutorial on what you need to know in this game. Um, because I will not take the time to... How is the audio, by the way? I didn't ask for that. Hope the audio is fine. Not too loud. Hope my microphone is fine. I'm gonna... Um, so that means I'll do a video here on explaining every trick in depth, and then I'm gonna go for, like, then I'm gonna show off the route, what to do, when to do, and maybe a few minor things maybe I have in mind them. Like, I will explain small things like quick turn and everything probably during the tutorial, but, um, dude, dear. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. I'm sorry for not having alerts. Okay. So, um, the most important glitch you need to know is uh, Infinite Sword Glitch. If you're playing on the English version, you do not need to slash. But you definitely should if you're on the Japanese version. The reason for this is simply because your... Um, because your default value, your default uh, damage value is zero, and um, to destroy a Chu when hovering to on a wall, you need a damage value of at least one to destroy the Chu. Um, so you first of need to know what Infinite Sword Glitch is. It's like the most basic trick in the game. Um, I, I have to keep it short, so okay. So what you want to do, I'm going to show it off on the sign first, is you crouch step and you interrupt the crouch step on the last frame, like this. So what you do is basically, um, I hope I have, yeah, I have the, I have the mass screen to show you the frames. So you crouch step and on this frame, basically when it looks like you're just shielding, you um, hit A. That was probably a little late, because I suck at it buffer. So when you're buffering it, it is literally just stab... Buffer. And now, basically just hit A. Um, could you please get ISG? That, I would, that would be great. Nope, he doesn't want to. Okay, are you kidding me? Give me a second. Am I skipping frames? Okay, apparently this is not like this on the sign. So I'm gonna show it off on a bomb. <laughs> I'm bad. This is a great start. So, uh, on a bomb it looks like this. Are you fucking kidding me? Thanks. Apparently I was skipping frames. I'm bad. So, um, yeah. You crouch step, and once the shield is in front of Link's face again, so it looks like you're just shielding, hit A, and that's all you gotta do. And you can see that you got ISG, um, either on the white, um, like on the white, like let's say your sword is shining white when you pick up on um, the bomb. Or if you're not sure, you can just backflip and draw your sword and then you can see this like glow thingy. And you can't fall of ledges, which is super, super useful. Okay, um, so the next thing you need to know is how to hover. Um, basically that's just shielding damage. Uh, if you're used to Ocarina of Time, just forget what you learned there, because it's different in this game. Um, so what you're doing is you backflip, or you somehow jump off something, usually you backflip, and you shield the damage source. So in this case you would just um, backflip, pull out a chew, and shield it. Just looks like this. Uh, it's like, this is basically the most important thing you need to know. 
and it's really not hard. Once you got ISG down, um, you definitely can do this. Um, another thing is probably, like, you can also do it with bombs. Not much hotter, but getting used to the timing might take a few hours, I guess. <clears throat> um, okay, let's get to the more advanced stuff, I guess. Um, things that you do not necessarily, like, there is something you do not necessarily need for a speedrun, but it saves lots of time, is a trick called Super Slight. Okay, I just came home, so... Um... Oh, right! Pepper. Uh, you just told me something. So, um... What I said before is you need to slash before you get infinite sword glitch, otherwise your damage value is zero. So, you slashed, and when your shoes are stuck on a wall, like when you're hovering up... Um, I'm gonna reload the area to show you this. Uh, like, you get infinite sword glitch. Ah, uh, or I'm bad. You get infinite sword glitch, and then you start hovering, and suddenly... Your shoe sticks on the wall. Um, so... The reason for that is because you didn't store any damage. So, you need to slash first. And then you can hover on walls, because your sword needs to destroy the bomb shoes before they actually can run up, run along the walls. On some angles this doesn't work. Uh, but yeah. It usually works. Okay. Dang, Kyle wants to learn this game. Since when do let's players start speedrunning, please? Okay. Um, so, another thing, like, something you might want to learn, which <clears throat> definitely saves quite some time, but is uh, not really necessary because it's just a movement technique, is the super slide. It's a free frame technique, um, and which basically looks like this, if I can pull it off. No, I can't because I just suck. Thanks. Um, so it's like a maximum movement speed just backwards. Merry Christmas, Reach. And, um, yeah, it just is super fast, basically. <laughs> so what you need to do for this is hold up your shield. I'm gonna put away my sword for this. So hold up your shield and see target. And basically you just roll into a damage source. Uh, no, no, you don't roll into a damage source, you roll into something grappable. While you get damage on, like, the last frames, um, you can do this in certain spots, but usually you do this with a bomb. Like, you could also do it with, like, one of those blob things and grass, but you don't want to do this. So, um, there are a few ways to do super slides. Um, uh, the way I used to do it in the beginning, no, Pepper and Gordon roll isn't faster. Uh, the way you, I used to do it in the beginning was two bomb super slides. If you're used to Ocarina of Time, you can basically just, um... You can basically just do the same timing there with two bombs, which is drop at fourth flash. And have a box behind you. <laughs> that was awful. Drop again, and roll. Um, you don't want to do it, like, it doesn't give you any more frames, it's just basically a little help if you're coming from Ocarina of Time. If you're kinda new and you have a hard time, um, timing it, but you kinda got the feeling for when bombs explode, you can do, um, another two bomb strat, which looks like this. But, again, I'm bad. Uh, this gives you, like, I think one more frame, because the second bomb explodes a frame later. Um, but you don't want to do this, like, it's slow, and, um, like, on most spots you don't need it. So, what you want to do is, okay, I'm, I'm gonna try to cover all the super slide techniques I know. <clears throat> so, the most popular way is to backwalk super slide, which is basically, you, um, count to four flashes, like, one, two, three, four, and then you shield drop while back walking. 
we'll back walk just a little, hold up your shield while targeting, and roll forward and hit A during the roll. So that's it. Basically, it needs some practice to pull up consistently. I it took me quite a while. Um but it's kinda consistent once you get it down. You might need some time for it. So it's basically just one, two, three, four, and roll. That's all there is. Another way I used to do before I started doing backwalk super slides is backflip super slides. So that means you backflip at the um the fourth red uh, blue flash, basically. Like or third blue flash. You have to A while rolling to do the super slide. Yeah, you do. Uh, I used to mash, like the timing it doesn't make a difference. But you should definitely at least hit A once during the roll. Like most people mash A, it's not necessary. Um, so another thing there is is like uh, the backflip super slide, which is not much hotter, but it's more a muscle memory thing, I guess. There are some tutorials because I suck at the frames. I don't know the frames, so I'm just gonna show basically the way I do it. So what you want to do is like it kind of looks like this: one, two, three, and this is not lullaby skip, so I'm bad. Um, so yeah, you backflip, you shield drop, and backflip like this. Oh, um, yeah, like this, dude. Backflip. Um, on the third blue flash, like once the flash is dark blue, um, <clears throat> on half of the backflip, you release the stick or hold it forward, it doesn't really matter, and then you mash a. As I said, you have three frames for it, so you shouldn't really miss it. So it's basically just um, one, two, three. Whoop. Go forward, MHA. <clears throat> um, another thing you can do are quick slides. Uh, again, kind of simple. Although they're in every category super useless. Um, a way to do them is like, on walls they are easier because you can roll into the damage source, like into the chew faster. Um, so I'm just gonna qu explain it really quick. So like, you roll into a chew while you are in the reach of grabbing grabbing a bomb at the end of your roll, and then you get a quick slide, because you don't have to wait for the bomb to explode. So, uh, it kinda looks like this. Uh, which is a little faster. Um, there is another way to do it. Uh, like, what, I'm, what I did here is basically shield drop, backflip, pull a chew, and uh, while dropping the chew, hold forward, mash A, and you get it. Like, it's super easy on walls. If you're not doing it on walls, it gets a little, little trickier because you need to re um, you need to shield drop the chew. Once you're running at full speed forward, uh, and still be in reach for the bomb, so uh, I'm gonna give it three tries because I suck at it, and as I said, it's useless. Yeah, wasn't at full speed. Okay, it's not, it's really useless, it's not much faster, you need two explosives, so you shouldn't do that. It's basically the same as on the wall, but you need to make sure that you're running forward at full speed. Um, a visual, like, if you really want to do that, a cool cue to do this, or like, a setup to do this, is to throw a bomb, and once the bomb fell down, you shield drop a chew. Well, I'm bad, apparently. So, yeah, um, that's much about that. Not important, actually super useless. <clears throat> um, let's go to another thing, another pretty easy thing. Um, what is easy? What could I do? I think I'm gonna go with ESS duping as the next thing. So you need to fish for this. <clears throat> could you please let me pass? <laughs> What about milk or glip clip? Uh, might be useful in uh, an upcoming 100% route. How much time would you save if you only did quick slides? You would probably save like 2 seconds per quick slide. 
Uh, but you would lose too many explosives, so it's not really worth it. <laughs> Maybe in Snowhead or something, thinking about it. Okay, so, um, what you want to do... What is... well... <sighs> There's so much to cover, I hate it. So, um... ESS duping is a way to bottle dupe over items without visiting the curiosity shop. So, um, what you want to do for this is you want to hold an item in your hand in a bottle that you can use. And you need, for the item you want to dupe over, it has to be unusable for you at the moment. May it be because you're already using too many of them at the moment? Or because, um, you don't have any? Or, um... Yep, yeah, it, it, as long as it does, isn't blanked out, because then it doesn't work. Hey, Limbo. So, um... <clears throat> this way... Well, okay. Uh, how am I gonna explain this? So, you need to hold something in your hands. Usually you're holding a bottle in your hand with a fairy in it. This time I'm using a fish, because you can just re-catch it. So, um... There are a few ways to do this, but first off, I want to explain what ESS position is. ESS position is basically what I'm doing here. Um, it is the um, minimum input the game accepts for movement, so Link moves in place like this. Um, it's used for another trick called Hyper Extended Super Slide. Um, and during this, I don't know why, but you can do things like Ocarina items during that, which I'm also going to cover. However, um, to dupe over items, you want to make sure that you get ESS um, consistently. May it be, like I used to do, um, is to hold, like, make Link face to the left, and then slightly tilt your control stick to the right until he starts turning. And then, once he starts doing that, you hit C. So he's shuffling on the ground, and then you're cons like then you're holding ESS position consistently, and you can do it whenever you want basically as long as your stick is still in that range. So um, what you want to do now is while Link is shuffling his feet or turning in place, you need to hit the bottle button and the unusable uh, unusable item to dupe over it. So. He shuffles his feet, I target, then bottle button, and I'm gonna use the stick now. So, um, it has to be one frame later, so don't worry about being too fast, rather worry about being too slow. So now you hit bottle and stick, then there comes up that arrow sound, and he drops the fish, which means he succeeded. And as you can see, now there is a bottle on my C left, where my sticks were before. Um... A good way to learn this consistently is to either um, look at your control stick until he reaches ESS, pause and take a pen or something and mark where ESS is. I'm using cheats by the way to have all items so <laughs> um, it's not in my inventory right now. <clears throat> uh, so yeah, and the same thing for- I failed, did I fail? I think I failed. No, I didn't. I just didn't hear it. Uh, you don't need to hold C for that. What does shuffling your feet do? I think it keeps Link in some sort of busy state. And I don't know why it messes up things, but... Uh, it is weird. It, yeah, it means you're in uh, ESS position. And so you can do fancy stuff like this. Uh, so basically I just played ISOT on my sword. <laughs> um, that's another thing I need to- I wanted to show. This is called Ocarina Items. It lets you use the Ocarina, basically, or yeah, it lets you use the Ocarina. In places where you're not allowed to use the Ocarina, um, the only place where this applies to is underwater as Sora. So, uh, I guess I'm gonna Zora dive somewhere to show this. Wait, can I Zora dive to show this? No, I can't. What is ESS position? ESS position is the minimum input for the control stick the game accepts, so um, Link just shuffles his feet and turns in place. 
Like, you're not walking, this would be too much, and just standing wouldn't be enough. So you just turn in place until you reach the position he, uh, he wants to look at, like, you're holding. For example, I'm holding right now, and now he's looking to the right, so he's not turning until, um... So he's turning until he looks at the direction I'm holding. <clears throat> okay. Um, Ocarina items, basically the same as duping, it's just like, uh, as if you would try to dupe over your sword, but instead of duping over your sword, he, uh, Link would just pull out the Ocarina. So, like, hold E is S position, C target, and make sure he's still shuffling his feet. Bottle and B, one frame after. And then you can play the Ocarina. You can do this underwater and pretty much everywhere. Um... If you see people not slashing, this is simply because they are not C-targeting. If you C-target, Link will slash first and then use the Ocarina. If you're not C-target, not C-targeting, he will just pull out the Ocarina. If you want your old items back, you can just buy them, grab them, whatever. It does not apply for magic beans for some reason. If you dupe over your beans, they're gone. Forever. <clears throat> Does that mean you can overwrite your Ocarina with Bottle and still use Ocarina? Yeah. There are a few more ways to use Ocarina items. Uh, even in first cycle? Kinda? Um, but they're completely useless. <laughs> so, okay. So, I got that cover. What's next? I guess I'm gonna go with Weird Shot next. Uh, <laughs> why my sleep rhythm sucks, dude. I, I got up at 3.15pm today. Um, okay, Weird Shot is like the most retarded trick as a beginner, I guess. It, except for Hyper Extended Super Slight, which I'm gonna cover barely because it's not important if you just want to learn the game. Uh, okay, so, um, Weird Shot. It's not too necessary, but it saves you a few minutes. Like, you can just hover everywhere you would actually need it. But you should better use it. When was Ocarina items found? It was found a few months ago, not too long ago. So, um, yeah. What you want to do- oh my god, this is gonna- This is gonna be fun. So, you want to drop a bomb, okay, what, I'm sh what I should do first is explain has position, or like the has frame of Link's rolling animation. So, um, look at the frame, like, look at when I pause, look at the way Link looks. Oh, one frame later. Okay, there we go. This is, I'm gonna unpause all the time so you can see the frame. Um, this is the very first has frame, at least that's what it's called, it's like, um, a frame, which is in which you're still invincible, but you can do actions. <clears throat> um, and it's also one frame after, so... Ah, uh, that was not one frame. Please, Link! Okay, this one. This is the last rolling frame, basically, in which you're invincible, but still can do things. Is there a way to get Deku Mask and become Child Link without getting the Ocarina? Not yet. Um, the most likely way at the moment would be get Kita Mask and go to <coughs> Seiken Hideout and um, put off Deku Mask there. It's not possible. <sighs> okay, so these frames are important for the next few tricks. <clears throat> um, which are mega flipping and um, basically hyper extended super slight and weird shot, but I'm gonna cover the most important of these right now, which is the weird shot. It's a trick that lets your camera go under the ground. If I'm bad, I can't get it, obviously. Or like this, like Um, yeah, I shouldn't do things like this if I didn't practice before. 
So this way I can go through walls, basically, which is also really useful. And that's the frame you need the most. Hey, Irvin. Um, but the one which is like, which was... Dude, could I please? Uh, apparently I did not, uh... I'm bad right now, and can't get the frame. Oh, whatever, it does not matter. <clears throat> How much time would be saved if you could get the Ocarina without magic? It's a bit looking like PAL. Uh, it doesn't, it's not PAL. You wouldn't save much? Uh, would it affect the rest of the run? <laughs> you would have infinite magic, uh, like, you would have infinite light arrows. Not good for the majority fight, in my opinion. Um... So yeah, what you want to do is, like, the frames I just showed, like, for example, this one, you need to get one of the two frames on the first explosion frame of your roll. So... Uh, of the... of the bomb of your roll, yeah your rolls explode. <clears throat> so, um, this way you can do some fucked up things basically. Just like, crash the game. So, um, for your weird shots you wanna shield drop a bomb and quick draw your bow. Quick drawing is basically, uh, hold Z target and, um, hit the bow button or the hookshot button. It depends on what you need right now and then press shield immediately after, and Link will pull out the bow without any animation. So, it looks like this. You'll need this. Um, so, you drop a bomb, you quick draw the item you need, in my case it'll be the bow, and then you roll on the timing, so that on the first explosion frame on the of the bomb, or the second, um, you have the has animation frame. So, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, one more frame, and this is what it should look like. Okay, I'm gonna explain this buffer first. Um, okay, let's see a deer. Thanks for watching. So, you drop a bomb. Oh, the timing, the timing, the timing, that's what you get for, like, just arriving. Um, the timing you want to roll here is between the 6th and the 7th rat flash. It's a little tricky to learn counting at the beginning, um, but you might want to get used to it, because um, when I started doing things like this, my visual cue was a lot after the quick flashes started, which is a terrible visual cue. You shouldn't do that. It's not consistent. So between the 6th and the 7th flash, you want to roll. So like, drop bomb, quick drop bow, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, and roll. And then you got it. So this is the first frame. And you... So, but remember to hold target the entire time, too. 1, 2, 3, roll. Ah, uh, that was... That's not gonna work. 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. That's not gonna work either. I'm bad at counting. Okay. So basically you'll need this frame. On either first or second explosion frame. Um, okay. You still hold, hold target. Um, but now you hold target and left. And buffer one frame. Or down left, it doesn't actually matter. Left, right, down left, down right, doesn't really matter. Is Weird Shot frame perfect? No, it's not. Um, I'm just explaining it the buffered way in case someone wants to play in English. And there it is. So, like, two frames. And if you, ex like, go one frame further than those two frames, you're gonna crash. It's not good. So, now you've got the frame where you buffer it one to the left. Um, release your stick and do a bow, hook shot, or whatever you need input for one frame. Now just, still just hold C and buffer one frame. Don't press anything else. Now Link is in that sideway animation, which looks like this. And now release everything. And you're gonna go under the ground. 
If you want a sideways frame, like so you can basically aim through walls, you just need to advance one more frame or two more frames. Um, don't do this on the English version. Like, you can do this on the English, but then you only have one frame for this. And if you advance another frame, you're gonna crash, which is terrible. Um, so yeah, quick shield drop, quick draw, two, three, one, two, three, roll. Buffer for this frame, hold left. Bow input. Release. Okay, and now uh, lots of you actually pro like probably saw this unbuffered, which should kind of look like this. Okay, as you have seen, uh, my camera is going out of ground, uh, like under the ground for a frame. I can't do this in practice for some reason. I can do this in Stone Tower. Okay, it doesn't really matter. So, basically, what you want to do is. Um, could you please advance tonight? Um, you hold down left for the entire time because that gives you a little more, like, a few more frames. Um, oh my god, the video is way too long already. Um, you hold down left, like, you roll, you hold down left, and then you do, um, the inputs on the same frames I just showed you, basically. Uh, you want to release C on like the Hess animation frame, and um, you want to hold it like for two frames longer if you want the frame to go through walls, basically. So like you just hold down left, and um, it doesn't matter if you still hold down left like the entire time. Even after you release C, you can still hold down left, which makes the entire thing much easier. Um, you shield drop a bomb, quick draw the bow, roll on the timing, um, and hold down left on has frame, one frame after, one frame after, thanks. Uh, you release C, no, you hit the bow, and one frame after you release C. Okay, that's how you do it. So, two, three, one, two, three, bow, release, and if you get damage, you roll too early, which I'm very good at. So, you hit bow, and short after you re release C, make sure not to release them on the same timing. Why am I so bad at... Whatever. So, yeah. It's basically the same inputs as if it was buffered, but it's just unbuffered. <laughs> That's the greatest explanation ever. Just make sure to learn how to get the has frame basically, and then you're good to go. The rest is easy. Uh, I need to spend less time on things. Okay. Um, keep in mind what I just said about the has frame because uh, I want to show. I'm very good at super slides. I'm literally Kyle during explanation videos. Just kidding, I'm sorry. Um, so, the mega flip. I'm just gonna cover it short because I'm kinda out of time. <sighs> okay. Usually you do this with infinite sword glitch. And then keep in mind what I said about the Hess frame. So, um, you basically roll between 6th and 7th flash and when you have the frame, like where your link is in the position, just like I showed before, you do a backflip input just for one frame, and then you release everything. So one, two, three, one, two, three, roll. Buffer until you have that. If you're not sure because you're hovering, a good visual cue is um, that it is once Link puts the shield back on his back, basically, if you. Uh, held it while rolling, sometimes he doesn't. And now just a backflip input. And now release everything. Um, this didn't work. I'm- dude, why? Everything just doesn't work today. I wanted to show off ISG at the beginning and it just did not work. Screw it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Thanks. This is basically all there is. I'm not gonna... It's not too important anymore. Um... What's a WAD? A WAD is a file which is like a virtual console game. You can install in your Wii to play the game. Um, so what you can do with this is just like... Uh, get long distance. I did not count. Why am I even rolling? And then you can ch uh, use a chew to, ch to shield again. Dude. Oh my god, I'm, I'm, I shouldn't have done that right now. Whatever. Okay, um, another small thing I forgot is... Uh, unlocking the camera while hovering. I get that question a lot. So, what you want to do here is basically, I think a frame after you... <laughs> a frame after you uh, shield drop the chew. As you can see, there is an arrow above the bomb chute. You can um, target it, it will explode and unlock your camera because the camera is nothing to target on anymore. Hey, first bit. So, um, you basically... There is the arrow. And now you just target. And I just retarget. And then you can do stuff like this, or, yeah. It is, basically, it is important, so you can turn. It's important for uh, pretty much every category. So, like, you can turn during hovers. You can do this with everything you can target. And now here comes the other part, the targeting. Um... It is basically, you see Link's walking animation, right? I'm gonna do it to the side, so... No, I can't do it. Um, like, you see he's slightly walking while being in the air. So, slightly turn your control stick to the up right or up left. Um, doesn't really matter. The important thing is, basically to the edge, it's like 45 degree. Uh, no, a little less. A little less than 45 degree. Um, to the left or to the right. So, he has still this animation. Release your control stick for like a frame and then, um, hold it to the direction you want Link to face. So, he has still this animation. Now he doesn't anymore, so a little more towards the top. So, now he's having this walking animation, so release the stick and like, for example, to the left or to the right, rather to make him face to the right, so release right and then you can target release left or release down release left it is super easy once you get used to it out of the bounds um, yeah. Um, did I forget something? I think I forgot the Hyper Extend Super Slight, which is a retarded trick. You shouldn't do it. Um, but I'm gonna cover it. Um, another way to figure out that you got, uh, ESS position is hold Z target and wait until Link starts moving. Like, tilt, and now he started moving. So you're having ESS position right now. Um, and remember what I said about the frames, like, which are a little glitchy when you, like, this one, for example. Um, if you roll just like you would for a weird shot, but with a, while holding, um, dude, grats, Linkers. <laughs> um, while holding ESS position. But not holding target, that's the important part about it. Um, you... Uh, will get s the same speed as you would for a super slight, but you can angle change, like you can... Um, you can basically change the direction. As long as your 
control stick position is still on ESS. It kind of looks like this. So now I can go to the left whenever I want. I just need to retarget. Whenever I release target, Link will try to look to the right still. Um, but because I'm holding ESS, he somehow keeps his um, momentum while trying to face the direction I'm holding the control stick. Uh, this is useful, for example, the, um, the, the Wits of Mystery, when you're going to the Witch, you can save a few seconds by using this technique to actually go through that part, and I think it saves like 7 seconds. So, as you see, it's once again not really important. Um, so, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, roll. And that was just the ESS. If you get that, you roll too late. Uh, too early, um, my bad. If you roll too late, you get damage. 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. And there you go. Ah, uh, okay. I think I got everything covered. Um, one more thing for Mega Flips. Because I got that as recently. If you're on the English version and you want to do Mega Flips on Buffer and you're having trouble with crashing because the Japanese version doesn't crash when you are doing Mega Flips uh, in the air. Um, there, you can just like do your Mega Flip backflip and instead of releasing your stick you hold forward so you make sure that your um, control stick is not at ESS position for longer than one frame so one two three one two three and apparently I'm bad again ah uh, this is the tutorial is gonna be a mess okay did I cover everything I hope I did so yeah this much about this video super long video for basically all the glitches you need I hate myself <laughs> uh, I think